What's going on guys? So today I think it's about time for me to reveal our little 12 by 50 foot mobile home that we've been working on and we'll kind of do a before and after um, what we started with and kind of what we finished with. So I hope you're excited for that. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm already standing outside of the little one, the 12 by 50 footer. I wanna try and kind of, let's, let's re recreate this as far as the first day that we started. So I think we were kind of facing this angle right here. I remember her being nice and blue. I don't think she had any stairs here in the back. And she had some hideous little fake stairs here. So we went and built new stairs. There's no landing to them, but they're just nice little stairs that go into the house. We got all brand new vinyl windows that we trimmed out in one box. All brand new skirting. We got some nice little edge and trim work. On the back side, we went with a Mr. Cool mini split heating and air conditioning system, which is really nice. And then we had an electrician come out here and hook it all up for us. And that's pretty much that as far as the outside. We painted it, we went with T111 panels we got rid of this whole kerosene heating system so again like last time let's go ahead and take a peek on the inside now this time is not nearly as gross as last time so when we walk in we are greeted with a nice open beautiful space and this is the living room slash kitchen area now originally this one was a two bedroom, one bath um, configuration where the hallway kind of went down this way. Now we've created a center walkthrough. This door opens into your bathroom slash washing dryer area. This is your shower tub washer dryer, hot water heater. And then this is the back bedroom. Again, everything just kind of flows smoothly back into here. And that's it. Now the last one, this where I'm standing right now, I think was actually part of the original bathroom. And then the master or the, I'm not even really sure, both of the bedrooms themselves were really tiny, but where I'm standing right now would have been one of the bedrooms and it was filled from floor to ceiling with all those nasty old um, cages and everything. So we fixed all that. We've opened it up a little bit. Uh, in here, it used to be a step up into the kitchen. We got rid of all of that. And here she is. So she is officially ready for sale. We still gotta get the power turned on and everything, but um, right after this, I'm gonna go ahead and start getting some pictures, get her up for sale. Now, when we go to post it for sale, it's gonna have to go through the park as far as the actual approval for the tenant um, because basically the person that purchases this mobile home will still technically be a tenant of the park and therefore the park has to approve them. And then from there, I'll either take payments or cash and move on to the next one. Of course, we still have the 14 by 70 which you can kind of see right here through the window towards the back. We are finishing up the vinyl siding on it right now. We just have a few more little sections to do. It is looking amazing. So anyway, guys, short little clip this morning, not very much happening with it. Happy to have this one done, ready to finish that one. And maybe next week I'll be able to give you a little bit better tour. We should start framing up the bedroom walls in that one. Both of these projects have ran way over what they were supposed to, but is what it is. So if you have any other questions as far as, you know, what was involved, what we did, what we were looking for, criteria, etc., make sure to put them down in the comments below. And as always, guys, 
My name is Timothy, and I'll see you in the next one.